Hello and welcome to Katie Rebels Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic Why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? Our guest on today's show is Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, who is going to tell us about her experience. Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, welcome to the show. It's my pleasure to have you here. Now we'll be expecting you to tell us about this topic, why love is disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans. I'm happy to have you here, Mrs. Adiosi. Thank How are you, you very today? much. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm just waiting for you to tell us why is love disappearing amongst us. Because I've moved to Europe for some time now, mm -hmm. and I've moved to England about a, over a year. Mm -hmm. I realized that the love we share back home in Africa mm -hmm. is not being expressed amongst us here. Yes. I know you just went to Bible school. You, all the time you finished, I know that you've been a dedicated Christian. Uh -huh. So I want you to tell us, you know, Nigeria being a population that, you know, like 40% are Christian. Mm. We go to church every day, yeah. Sunday, Monday, and still yet we can't express love amongst ourselves. So no. I want to hear from you, please. Um, we're talking about why is love disappearing amongst the individuals. Hello and welcome to Katie Rebels Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic Why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? Our guest on today's show is Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, who is going to tell us about her experience. Love, no, the person you are showing love is not, not you know, it's not, yeah. it's not giving you back Bad what you are wanting. So the okay. fear of giving that love really? sometimes really mm. scares you. And when you come to it, you, know, you just, you know, like you pull back. So I think that is, that's what I'm seeing in amongst us Africans, especially. Okay. So, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. So on my own experience, right? When you said the word scared of giving love, mm. I'm just beginning to wonder. Because, so, you know, which is true you know, in some sense, yeah. because you see, you give love, you mm -hmm. actually, as human being, you actually want to receive love in return, which yes. is good. Yes. But in my own observation, I don't really think it, it, they are really afraid to show love. Mm -hmm. Because if we are Christians, that we are, God yeah. is love. Yes. And uh, God gave his only begotten son yes. to, you know, to die for our own sin. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't afraid that, oh, if he dies... Jesus died for these people, they are going to be reckless and That's all true. that, so there's no point. With That's it. true. Whether we are good, bad, it still showed the love anyway. So That's true. I think as Christians, which we are, like in Nigerian population, Africans rather, 40% mm -hmm. of Africans are Christians. Yes. And 45% of the of the continent mm -hmm. are Christians. Mm -hmm. So if we are Christians, we should show love. Yes. You know, no matter what. And when I say love, it's not okay. showing love to your children, mm -hmm. showing love to your mother, or showing love to your friends alone, or to your siblings. Yeah. I mean, showing love to anyone, any human being you come across. You have to show love. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory. That's the way God has created man. That's true. And if you are struggling to show love to someone, mm -hmm. and, you, and you find yourself to be a Christian, mm -hmm. and you still struggle, Hello and welcome to Katie Rebels Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic Why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? Our guest on today's show is Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, who is going to tell us about her experience. Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, welcome to the show. It's my pleasure to have you here. Now we'll be expecting you to tell us about this topic, why love is disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans. 
I'm happy to have you here, Mrs. Adele. Thank you, you very much. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm just waiting for you to tell us why is love disappearing amongst us. Because I've moved to Europe for some time now, mm -hmm. and I've moved to England about a, over a year. Mm -hmm. I realized that the love we share back home in Africa mm -hmm. is not being expressed amongst us here. Mm -hmm. I know you just went to Bible school the other time you finished, and mm -hmm. all that you've been a dedicated Christian. Mm -hmm. So I want you to tell us, you know, Nigeria being a population that, you know, like 40% are Christian, mm -hmm. we go to church every day, mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday and still yet we can't express love amongst ourselves. So I want to hear from you, please. Um, we're talking about why is love disappearing amongst the Hello and welcome to Katie Rebus Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic Why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? Our guest on today's show is Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, who is going to tell us about her experience. Mrs. Ruth Adiosi, welcome to this show. It's my pleasure to have you here. Now we'll be laying down, you know, lifelines. Okay. If you don't see your friend, it's your duty to call her. That's if you are true. calling her, she cannot pick her phone, you should go and find out why she's doing, if she's okay. That's it's true. not for you to pick up your phone and gossip into another friend that, oh, do you know that person doesn't pick phone anymore? Mm. She thinks she's feeling too big to call us now. Mm. It's not that. Mm -hmm. You don't know why she's not picking her phone. That's true. You should but just show concern about, about somebody, somebody else. You know, just try and think for the person that if it was mm. you, what would you like don't someone to do? Don't judge the conclusion. Exactly, yeah. because the person might be there looking for help, That's and you're it. just here concluding that she don't want to call you. That's but whereas she was sick, after yeah. all, I, I have an experience some years back, yeah. when I was calling a, a friend in Nigeria, when I traveled to Nigeria, I felt mm. they had traveled abroad, mm. and later I realized that it has passed on. Jeez. So things happen. Yes. You know, we shouldn't yeah. be, you know, distancing ourselves to people that you call your friend. That's true. So what about the other incidents of... Uh, of a lady who told her friend that, oh, listen, could you please join me to pray so I could have my papers? Huh? And uh, she, she kept everything quiet. And on one fateful day, they had a misunderstanding. And the next thing, he called, you know, the immigration that this lady doesn't have her papers. There's no one of us here except those of us born in England, That's yeah? true. or born in Europe, that came from Africa mm. with their red passport in their hands, no, no. or with their residency. No. At a point, you were once an immigrant. Of course. So you are not, not saying, saying you should promote illegal, illegal immigrants living here. That's true. But if your friends should confide in you that, look at me, I've come here, I would like to stay, mm -hmm. what am I supposed to do? Mm. Be honest. That's true. Tell them there are immigration lawyers in yeah. London that you yeah. could talk to. Ways, you ways to go about exactly. it, instead of grassing and, them up. And, and pray with them as well. That's they have it. asked you to pray, not, not saying God will do it, mm. whereas you know you were not even praying in the <laughs> first place because if you were praying, there's no way you would go and be calling the police That's and then true. because probably they told you the truth mm -hmm. about the situation and you felt who are you to tell me the Talk truth when me you don't anyhow. have your papers I, didn't, I, do see, I don't know about you, did you come to this country with your red passport? No, no, uh, no. I didn't come here myself <laughs> I was a legal immigrant myself <laughs> just when? because I was married to a British citizen okay. that's what warranted me citizenship so I cannot use that to you know water down somebody else exactly so, so even now as we sit there's an incident that occurred as well mm -hmm. and which is which is also under investigation mm -hmm. where another fellow brother Nigerian brother died mm -hmm. in the house mm -hmm. yeah and nobody knew until the brother had to call mm -hmm. a friend to go and you know actually check on him do we need to be seeing all this too rampant now? Yeah, it's it's too need to make me to be ashamed sometimes. We mm. should look after each other. That's that is what we grew up with back home. That's Can it. we not transfer that culture back here mm -hmm. where we look after each other, care for one another? That's it. Let somebody who, who have come to England you know, as an immigrant from another nation, mm. see something positive to say about us. That's it. Last weekend, a guy was telling me, uh, and the, uh, there's a family I went to visit when we went to Dublin, mm. and uh, she, he was telling me about how I've hit a fellow Nigerian's car, and how they, they, they took it up. He said, okay, can I fix it? He said, no, you have to, he took it to the most expensive garage and brought a, 
uh, one huge uh, amount for her to pay. That's that's what I'm talking about. When mm. there is no love, we said it mm. earlier that when there is no love, things like this will come in. People are selfish. People are not forgiving. There should be forgiveness. There should be. You should be. We should be patient with each each other. Exactly. We should be really patient with each other. We exactly. should love each other. We should control ourselves. You know, like when in the incident, Kate has just mentioned now, saying that somebody has mm -hmm. a problem, saying pray for me, do this for me, and you go there and grass the person up that is not christ-like and i'm seriously thinking now the person that has done this probably a christian that shouldn't be because these days people don't want you to be yourself at all they want you to be pretending <laughs> they hurt you so bad they want you to smile with them and eat with them no, I I don't nothing do that. Happen. yes that's so not that's a true it. christian you that's shouldn't true. be nurturing evil in your heart against no. your fellow no. brother or friends no. if you offend me if i offend you mr jesus mm -hmm. please let me know Okay. Because if you don't tell me, how will I know that you've offended no, he me? You will never know. But you know what? When you tell some of these people now mm. that this thing you did, I do not like you, guess what? Quarrel. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Why are we quarreling with ourselves? We're meant to be brothers mm. and sisters. Exactly. You have the right to express yourself. Mm. If I come to your house and I did something you didn't like, mm. if you don't tell me, if I come again, what am I going to do? I'm going to repeat it. That's true. So leave me going. Not telling me anything, mm -hmm. and you pick your phone and start calling your friends mm. and telling them, Do you know what? Do you know Kate? Very good. She came to my house today and she did all this, blah, 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 blah. What's turn, going to change? Nothing. Turn it, just just <laughs> turn it into a topic of gossip. That's it. You know, you're not really helping that person by is picking going up the call and is it? You know, telling this is what has happened. But that's what they're used to now. That's true. And more people that's are used true. to that. So yeah. I'm not used yeah. to gossiping. I can't gossip you. Mm. So just if you do anything wrong to me or there's anything you have done that I didn't like, I'll mm. just call you with due I'll respect. You with it. I yeah. say, Sister Aru, uh, look at what happened, Mr. Juicy. This mm. thing you did this way, I didn't quite like it. Mm. If you love me, you, you will respect my like That's true. and my dislike, which I spoke about That's on, true. The, on the topic, mm -hmm. marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to respect one another. That's true. Not only husband and wife, respect your friends, mm -hmm. respect your sisters. But people can be so rude these days, Mr. Very, very rude. They won't give you the chance to even say a word before they want to shut you up. That's true. Who are you to shut people up? <laughs> you don't own this world? No. Nah. You people have right to express themselves. That's true. What you do not like, I shouldn't be doing it to you. That's nah. oppression, That's true. isn't it? Yeah. When you say you have a friend, exactly, you, the automatically that friend becomes a family. Especially so you, whatever you can offer to your family, you should exactly. be able to offer it to that friend. So when you don't hear from your friend, exactly. you are able to go, oh, uh, let me go and check my friend. Let me go and knock. Exactly. So I make sure something is happening. Rather than suspecting, oh, I'm doing call my friend. She's not picking. He's not picking because exactly. uh, uh, maybe they are too self-sufficient or they are proud. Exactly. They don't want to do yeah. this jumping to come. That exactly. is not. Exactly. That is not supposed to be. Exactly. As as Christians, as Africans, we are supposed to love one another. Exactly. Uh, no, we're supposed to love whether you are an African, whether you are black, whether you are red, whatever color exactly. you are. That's why you're a human being. That's why you're a human being. Yeah, even if it is. Is even the white man or whatever the black woman, the red woman, whatever color we are, exactly. we're supposed to show each other love. I've learned that you can be upset with someone because mm. of what they did, yes. but still love them. That's true. You see, and how do you know you love them? Mm. Well, you can still pray for them. That's true. Despite they've hurt you badly. Mm. So that's how I got to know that. Yes. Is a is a grace that I have, mm. but people take this grace for granted most they time do. They because do. they hurt you once, you love them back. Mm. They hurt you again, mm. you love them back. Mm. They keep on. They think it's now. Oh, this is a fool. They call you. Oh, oh, is it Mugu? Those that have ears, let them hear. But what we are looking out for to see is actually seeing love amongst us. I see. When we hear the phone now in the train or on the bus talking about your friend. We don't want to hear those kind of gossips. Mm. Those things that you say on the phone that makes one to be ashamed when they hear you. Mm. Do not say those such things anymore. Say positive things about your friends. Yes. Don't say, oh, when she went to that party, look at what she wore. She just dressed as if she's a governor's wife. That's not, there's not a discussion anyway. I share jealousy. <laughs> Do you know what? There's a time a lady was calling my <laughs> talk. And I have someone that will be going to park with the children. We just move out from where we've been living when we're in Dublin. And guess what? She calls me and she tells me, 
terrible, stupid things about her friend. I'm like, no way, I don't have time for this. Then when I try to talk her through and say, listen, tell your friend you're saying what she did is bad, is this and that. She might have a reason of trying to bring her away from that. She knows she doesn't listen. You know what I did? I said, no, this one doesn't want to learn. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't want to change. So this one, I, don't, I give her distance. Mm -hmm. We greet. We, we greet when we see, mm -hmm. but I don't expect, encourage her to be calling me because no. you can't be calling me, me and be pulling someone down. That's true. No. No. You who is listening, you should be able to learn something from the show. Yes. And, and try to love someone. Yes. For how do you know that you're loving someone? Mm. Just pick a pen right now and write down in the past one week the name of someone that you have shown love to. Mm. And if you do not have any name to write down, then you mean that you have to do something yes. quickly. Because you must love. Yes. You must love someone. Yes. The other day, you know what happened? Mm. My neighbor came, my neighbor's friend came looking for her and was asking me about my neighbor. Mm. And the next thing, after we realized that the neighbor, my neighbor wasn't in, I was going back to my house and I was looking okay. for my key at the mm. door. Do you know what that lady did? A British white woman. You know what she did? Mm. She said she's going to wait. I, I told her, bye, see you. She said, no. I have to just wait to make sure that you find your keys. So great. get into your house before I leave. That is great. So That's this, wonderful. These people, they touch my heart every day. She I love my to... show. The first video I did, when I said, about, when I spoke about Londoners, as mm. the most of the friend, one of the most friendly and kind people, I meant it yeah, from the bottom of my heart. Because mm. every day they show this love. They do. They don't, they, they don't struggle to do it. Mm. They just show it anyway. Why can't That's you do true. the same thing? That's true. Do you, That's is true. It, it's, not, it's the same blood that runs through your through vein. vein. That runs through, they are, that they are runs through their exactly. vein. Exactly. Yeah, so. You That's go true. to church more than even those white people. Mm. <laughs> you go to church on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm. And you cannot love. Then what God are you serving then? I don't understand we, it. We have to do something. You have to change. You have to change our ways. You That's must it. love someone. That's it. The time you spend to gossip or mm. to say something stupid about mm. somebody, mm. use that time to say good things. There are people out there mm. who need your time. That's true. Someone is there lonely. Yeah. Pick up your phone. Yeah. Spend time calling them. Mm. Say meaningful things to people's lives. Yeah. There are people there who are looking for ways to go in their career. Mm -hmm. If you have an advice, you know a website they could visit yeah. to yeah. get more reach information, out reach out to them. Yeah. It's not going to make them, you know, because if they go to school, they're going to meet up with you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's Sure. It doesn't matter, mm. you know. If someone is is educated and you are educated, you have ten degrees and you have twenty. It doesn't if it doesn't stop you from being who you are at all. He wouldn't stop you. Yeah, it's that I'm so confident of myself. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't even imagine me being jealous of anyone. Mm. Never. Mm. There's nothing on earth to jealous about. That's it. You don't have to jealous anyone. Mm. If you are being jealous or you are envious of someone, it just shows that you have just uh, have a very low yeah. self esteem. A very narrow minded. Narrow also. minded. Because That's every set of fingers, they are not equal. But one thing I must tell you, mm. everyone have their time. That's true. Some people run fast at early stage of their life. Some r fly at the early stage of their life. Some, some walk. Some go slowly. Yeah. So everyone, there's time for everyone. We'll get there. You know, even and even if you don't get there anyway, yeah. at, at the same, you know, there are other things. Some people today they didn't get there, yeah. but their children are the richest in this world. That's true. So That's everybody, true. God has plans for everyone. That's true. You don't need to worry about people's future. Mm -mm. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to be doing you know unhealthy competition at all. Be upset because someone is. Is is happy. It's, it's making it. You shouldn't. It. You shouldn't. You should be happy. You should be happy because for your neighbor. In your happiness, your neighbor is doing something. Your sister is doing something. Your brother is doing something right. Yeah, exactly. Once you are happy for them, at the end of the day, you also are fulfilled. You know when my neighbor is doing something, when my friends are doing something, I'm, I support them. I don't have any any mind to jealous them or to mm -hmm. envy what they are doing because when they get there i know definitely by rejoicing with them i'm also going to get there that's how it's supposed to be exactly. it's not when you're jealous of them exactly. you know you, you 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 your behavior towards them changes when even when they talk to you the way you approach and talk to them that's not right at all exactly. that is sheer jealousy and that is hatred we need to change these things exactly. if we don't change this thing it's going to continue going on and it goes on even to our generations exactly. to our children's children That's it shouldn't it. be like that especially africans we need to stop 
We need to stop. Stop yourself. You can do it. You can tell yourself, I can do it. I can be what God wants me to be. I'm living in a civilized country. I don't need to be being, you know, like doing all these things I am doing. We We need to change. We need to stop grassing on each other. We need to stop eating. We need to love each other. Just as Christ loved us and gave himself for for us. You understand me? He said Christ loved the church. He gave himself to the church. So the the same thing with husband and wife. They love each other. That's why they have kids together. The same thing with brothers and sisters. They love each other. At the end of the day, they are having things in common. Nobody is trying to get this. No, no, today now many people are trying to get rich quick. So they do the fast, fast, fast things just to get there. But at the end of the day, we are talking about love. It's not about who gets there first. Sometimes you should be careful how you talk down to somebody. Maybe God is showing you the person that is going to bless you. You already water them down. God is saying, that is the person that I've used on. to bless you. Oh my goodness. But you've already watered them down. Come so on. you've already used your own hand to chase your blessing before your blessing comes oh into your presence. Oh my goodness. Did so you hear that? So we should be careful, oh please. Oh my goodness. We should be careful how we use our mouth or ourselves to like chase down the blessings that is coming our way. Okay, we're craving goodness. for this love, yet we cannot give it to others. So it can never come to you exactly. until you are willing to give it to others. Then you yourself, you'll be having that real love in return. Not That's necessary from the person. that you are giving it to. God can use the president to to give you the blessing that you have been crying for donkey years. God can use anybody. Can we use the beggar? He can even, let me tell you something. Don't, don't what? Take it. God can use the devil to bless you. He would have finished oh, blessing man. you. Yeah. I'm serious, Kate. Yes. He would have mm-hmm. finished. He would pinch himself and say, what have I just exactly. done? Exactly. Well, or you have been blessed. That's it. So you just be a that's, blessing to other people. That's it. In order for you to receive your one. Exactly. Yes. Showing love is one of the most simplest things to do. That's true. I'm telling you, so that's easy. True. Yeah. It's that's so true. Yeah. It's so easy. It just, it just flows. It's just natural. Mm-hmm. You don't need to struggle. You don't because need to force it. You don't need to have any... Do you know why it's so easy? Mm. You don't need to have any criteria. Nah. Any status, attain any status, no, or no. have any certificate no to qualify you. At all. You don't need any qualification. Mm-hmm. It to be nice. That's it. To be That's nice it. to people. That's it. To be kind, to show love. That's you don't, true. you don't, there's no person that will say, okay, I couldn't show love last week because, do you know, I took my CV mm-hmm. and I said I wasn't qualified <laughs> to show love that week. No, <laughs> no way. No, no. You, you have to show it. Practically. If you are there saying, I love her, I know I love her, but you're not showing it. Yeah, you're just like, not like telling true. somebody, I'm Be- praying for you. You know I'm praying for you. Mm-hmm. And this person comes to you, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm praying for you. That food is coming. That food is not oh, coming. No. That food will only Here come by again. when you take your money and say, you know what? You are hungry. I might not have much, but this is what I have. Take exactly. And this is the, you know this. You know what, Kate? Oh, I'm buying this little shopping. Please have this. Oh, you know what? Your children are stressing you out. Bring those children. Maybe oh. I can take them to their park. Oh. That is love. We're it's talking about just, love. We're just, not. Just we, sleep we, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not talking about love that just sit down. I love you. I love you. I love oh. you. And at the end of the day, there's nothing for it. I like. I'm like. Do you know what you said? That? that just reminded me of an incident. Okay. Where I was, you know, a neighbor of mine, a friend from back home. I knew her. University this 20 something years ago, even mm. before I got married. Mm. I came across her in London when I just moved to London, mm. and we happened to live in the same uh, complex. And um, when she used to leave her daughter at home, and I said, No, bring your daughter to me, mm. let me help you look after your daughter and all that. Mm. But do you know the day I needed her? Wanted to buy something, and I was directed somewhere to buy it. Mm. That's going to take me like 10 minutes, as she, she told me before I left. but. Fortunately, it was taking longer mm. than expected. And I called her as a sister. Because she's her as a sister. She's Please, could you go to my children and do this and that and get this one? They say, yes. And, okay, fine. And I was relaxed. Thought she's done it. <laughs> the next thing she did was to do what? To call social services. Jesus. So, uh, you know. So that is, that is what I'm talking about. Mm. This is the same lady that was looking after her child. If a child comes from school, I cook for her child to eat. Mm. I look after her child if she goes to work. That shouldn't be. That shouldn't That's what be. I'm saying. What? Some people, some no say, love. oh, she's jealous. Uh, she's jealousy. It's, if you say you are jealous of someone, mm. yeah, mm. do you know what that means? 
it means one, you don't even love yourself once. So, you have very low self esteem. That's true. Secondly, you don't even believe in yourself. Mm. Because if you are jealous of someone, that means you don't love yourself the At way all. you are. You must appreciate yourself. Mm -hmm. Cherish yourself the way you are. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone is doing something that is good, be happy for them. Yes. If you ha if you're happy for them and you want to even do the same thing that in a good way, you can do it. You can ask that they will direct you. That's true. Don't be playing those you know games. You oh, playing you think oh if I do this, <laughs> this is going to step this person backward mm -mm. because she wants to be a high flyer. I've mm. been here mm. struggling mm. for many years. How can you just come in and want to fly? It's not going to happen. I'm going to show you mm. that, you know. That That's not right. No. So. Everybody will get there when they will get there. Everybody is one step at a time. No, it's a, you, it's a, you, it's a you taking your, your, your own step, you're exactly. going, let's back each other up. Telling. Let's back each other up. If we try to back each other up, Things will work out. But if we try to be, you know, like oyster towards somebody else, you're trying to like backstab them, back talk them, gossip about them, it doesn't work that way. But good Especially when you say mm. you're a Christian. Exactly. You can do that. Exactly. You can do that. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. You know the good thing, I haven't said all this. Mm -hmm. We still thank God that we have someone like people like Mr. DOC who still shows love despite the drastic change in our attitude towards one another. Thank you. Mm. Thank you, you very much. I, I know when I first met you, it's, it's about the love that Thank you me. shared. That's how I got to know you, and I felt that you were the right person to come for this show. Thank you. Because you've shown love to my children, Thank you've shown you love much. towards me, and I say, yes, this is a true Christian. Thank you But I must much. tell you, Mrs. Adiosi, the first time you were talking to me, <laughs> I thought this is another one. Here we go now. Another fake one. Another one. No, <laughs> oh, Christian. Nigerian sister, you want to come and do more, <laughs> but sincerely she is genuine. Thank you. And you know what? No she doesn't one. just have this love, she has transferred it to her children. Thank you. If you see her children, her daughters, her son, you can see the love. You know, when I was moving house, the son told me, uh, let me come and give you a hand. She walked down to, he walked down to me, he was helping out. I said, wow, mm -hmm. this woman genuinely, she's a Christian. Because you can only give what you have. That's true. You give your children love. You. you show them how to love because you are, you are expressing love mm. so they can see. It. That's what I'm telling parents. Teach your children the way they should go. Don't, mm. don't, don't teach them by saying it, mm -mm. by example. Mm. Because children will do, your children will do what they see you do. That's true. Okay? Mm -hmm. Better than screaming and all that. You don't mm. need to scream. Just mm. show good example. That's good enough. So I appreciate some of us who still go, you know, extra mile for others, even if they don't know you. Like, for example, the day I had a flat tire in church, and the guy who said to me that you had a, that I had a flat tire, you know, they actually, after they asked me if I, you know, I registered with the AA, and I said no. He actually drove away with his wife. But a good Samaritan, who is still an African guy by name Innocent, who was even wearing a cream trousers, I couldn't even approach him when I met him earlier, you know, but he was the one who helped me to change my tires that day because it was on a Sunday. And just to appreciate him as well, because there are some people through who still go of their way to help people, strangers, like you know, even if they don't know you, they see that you're stranded, you you are in you are in need, they still come of their way to help, which I really appreciate. Somebody like Mr. Sangulana has been so helpful and supportive as well, even though he didn't know me from Adam, you know, he's been supportive when I needed support, when those who were supposed to be there for me were not there. God have used him as well. So it's not just generally everyone, but the population, the, the, the percentage, you know, of Africans who are not looking after each other. We just too, it's just too much. It's too much. We need to work on this. It's important for us to show love to one another. Not just to your friends, not just to your siblings, not to your, you know, your family members, but to anyone you come across. Not just to Africans. You know, to anyone, to any color. I know we are good at showing kindness to people of different nationalities. We're very good at that. But we cannot be hypocrites. We cannot be showing love to other people and don't show love to your fellow Africans as well. We should love everyone.
Hello and welcome to Katie Rebels Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic Why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? Our guest on today's show is Mrs. Ruth Adiusi, who is going to tell us about her experience. Mrs. Ruth Adiusi, welcome to the show. It's my pleasure to have you here. Now we'll be expecting you to tell us about this topic, why love is disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans. I'm happy to have you here, Mrs. Adiusi. Thank you, you very doing? much. I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm just waiting for you to tell us why is love disappearing amongst us? Because I've moved to Europe for some time now, mm-hmm. and I've moved to England about a, over a year. Mm-hmm. I realized that the love we share back home in Africa mm-hmm. is not being expressed amongst us here. Yes. I know you just went to Bible school the other time you finished, and mm-hmm. all that you've been a dedicated Christian. Mm-hmm. So I want you to tell us, you know, Nigeria being a population that, you know, like 40% are Christian. Mm-hmm. We go to church every day, Sunday, Monday, and still yet we can't express love amongst ourselves. So I want to hear from you, please. Um, we're talking on why is love disappearing amongst the individual. Hello and welcome to KT Rebels Show. Today we'll be speaking on the topic, why is love disappearing amongst us, especially we Africans? 